Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you these Philips 35 watt high pressure sodium bulbs. Now the one interesting thing about these is that they're frosted. And the more common ones of course are the clear ones. The frosted versions of high pressure sodium bulbs are pretty hard to come by, but you definitely can get them. As you can see here, there are seven boxes. I got them all at a restore for $2 per box. And usually that restore, if they know it's a, a specialty bulb, they make it a little bit more expensive. But I don't think they know what was inside of here, or they were just confused, or somebody just put $2 on them because they were awesome. But anyway, I decided to get all seven boxes because I definitely have fixtures that can use them. So anyway, here we have the front. The original people that ordered it, of course, cut their name off for privacy reasons. They all have that before they donated it to the ReStore. But anyway, you have the front of the packaging here, made in the USA. Very nice. The side, the back, nothing on the bottom, and here's the top. So, inside we have retail packaging for the bulbs. Let's see, one of these is open. Well, one of them has an open, open uh, um, bulb already open. Okay, here it is. <clears throat> the rest of them I have kept sealed, so... I'll just leave them like that. So anyway, here's the one that I opened. And before I show you the bulb, we'll take a look at the packaging. As you can see, this is the retail packaging, if you were to buy it in a store. Frost. We just put it in a couple different languages there. Made in USA. There's a date, May of 2005. So, let's take the bulb out of its box. It's a pretty long box for the bulb, as you can see here. So it sits way down in there. Anyway, of course, in the inside you have some more safety instructions. But here we have the bulb itself with their etch. So you go Philips 35 watt, USA, of course frost. Inside there you can see the arc tube. Looks like they're used, but they definitely aren't, because they're all still sealed. And unfortunately, right now I don't have a ballast to fire this on for you, but I'll just take a quick look at the bulb. One of the interesting things with Philips is they don't put the frost all the way down to about here, like uh, Sylvania does. They only go to about here, or even up higher sometimes. I kind of like it when it's down more, but this is an interesting design in itself. You can still see in the inside, which is nice. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video of my Philips 35 watt frosted high pressure sodium bulbs. Also, please comment, subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.